camel. Whoa, 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 camel. Whoa, oh, come on, whoa. When I say whoa, I mean whoa. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today I have a tweet here from Arslan from me and also Spaghetti Rip. These three things combined into something that I think is incredible. In terms of Tekken 7 and getting any additional content or update or patches, whatever you wanna call it, a lot of people think that Tekken 7 is done, right? I remember over a year ago now, at the end of season four, I immediately started making videos about season five because at that point in time, season four was doing incredible the numbers was unreal and i was like why would they stop why would they stop adding things to the game and at the time people thought tekken 8 would come out in 2022 so i'm like what are they going to do for two years nothing they have to fill in that gap with season five so i just started making videos talking about what i wanted to see what i think they should do what i think they should add change all these things and for a while the community was doing the same but i think once evo came and went the community split off into two directions a lot of people were saying okay maybe they're not doing season five maybe they're doing tekken 8. i would say a kind of a smaller fraction of the community still had hope in season five now i got off the season five train probably like five six months later and i too believed that tekken 8 was going to be uh, announced and the reason why i say all this is because that was like a year and a half ago we haven't received any updates any news about the game itself yes we had like the tekken bloodline yes we had the tekken world tour but the actual state of the game itself nothing and it's kind of interesting because if we did get season five season five would have been over by now the start of the tekken world tour would have been the end of season uh, season five all the characters or whatever they had whatever they would have had planned would have been out that's one thing to note two you also have harada saying he doesn't want to compete with street fighter six now he didn't just wake up like this overnight this is something him and ono uh, had like a, a, a secret agreement for many years now and you have to wonder why are they just letting the game suffer what I'm really noticing right now I haven't really ran into any cheaters but the biggest issue for me with Tekken 7 is the netcode I cannot rematch anyone I get lucky if I rematch someone and it actually works two lagging connection errors three the characters and the balancing is ridiculous i know people like to say tekken 7 is the most balanced tekken game but it's also the most patched tekken game the past tekken game like tech attack tournament 2 that game probably had like two or three updates tekken 7 i wouldn't even be able to count how many updates this game has had in my opinion, if they're not going to do a season five, which I really don't want, I don't want any more broken, overpowered characters being dumped in the game. I don't care if it's Bruce or if it's Christine. The names sound cool, right? Bruce sounds really cool. Christine sounds really cool, but the gameplay is going to be atrocious. The gameplay will be a nightmare. And I just do not want a Eddie, but on steroids, a Eddie with DLC, buffs that will i literally probably will stop playing tekken at that point I, I probably will stop but besides that they need to fix the game they need to fix it now the reason why i'm talking about this i'm going on and on and on a tweet here from arson ash if they nerf zafina then i'll be a fang main now i don't know why he has this feeling that Zafina will be nerfed because if he's feeling like Zafina will be nerfed that means he, he's feeling like they're going to do a balance update and I haven't seen any signs of this happening any signs of them working on this I did do a video uh, like a few days ago but and they were talking about doing the accessibility update but in there they weren't really talking about adjusting any characters or balancing anything they were strictly talking about accessibility so maybe they will do something else on top of that. But Nii responds to this tweet and says, no, I recommend you something better than Fang. Your main is Brian. What I have to note about this tweet is to comment with the most likes on it. 
Now, before I read this, Arson Ash is one of the greatest Tekken players. Flukistan, that was shut down so hard. He's the king. But you also have to talk about the characters he'd be picking and the characters that he wants to pick. The comment says, wait, you're telling him to play a character without evasive bullshit. Now, like I said, regardless of what character Arson Ash picks, he will dominate. He picked the Bears and he was dominating. He picked Lucky Chloe and was winning tournaments. Whatever character he touches, he will do justice with. Same as Nii. But you also have to talk about the characters he main. Zafina, very, very slimy. Fang is a character he's talking about switching to very slimy in my opinion the, de the the developers doesn't nerf anything they do not nerf anything that's why fang has become such a monster but if they do decide to nerf zafina a character who has one of the worst usage in the game in my opinion i think fang will also be on that hit list if they really go out their way to nerf zafina why wouldn't they also hit fang and also hit some of these other DLC characters. Kunimitsu is another character Arson Ash was talking about switching to. If she get buffed, then she needs to be better so he can use her. But all these characters kind of fall in that same pool. And that's kind of what this comment is saying, even though it's kind of doing it in a snarky way. It does make a point that a lot of these characters are just slimy. It really is crazy how scaled the community is because that's what it goes back to these combos and these tactics wouldn't be found if the community wasn't gods at the game even though the damage is very high i kind of accepted that the damage is very high but now it's to the point where people are doing reset combos and your your only way to escape it is to tech roll at a certain time now of course a good player will just tech roll out of it but 9 million copies sold i said it already when it was 8 million but that whole 9 million is not good players there's probably 300,000 that's actually decent at the game and everyone else will get death combo to oblivion by these reset combos now, another reason why I think they should do something about the game is because what I'm going to talk about next. This tweet here from Spaghetti Rip. It says, what the hell is this? You can customize the percentage of blocks on highs, mids, and lows. That is insane. Really thinking we should go back to PS4 for official tournaments. The image he has linked with this is kind of a cheat sheet. It's like a hacker's uh, manual or whatever. And you can basically see all the check marks. They have auto block on, they have the hotkey on. So the hotkey basically enables them to activate and deactivate it with one input, right? When you hit O, this cheat will turn on. And depending on how high you have these percentages, that is how high you will block. You will block every low, every mid, every high. You also get choose how much you wanna dunk under the highs. You can also choose the low parries. I know this was a thing. I seen clips of it circling the internet back in October, back in November. Uh, the community was upset and asking Bandai Namco to do something about it. Of course they did not. But now we have another screenshot here going more in depth. Ni responds to this. Why doesn't Bandai Namco Esports block the outside program PC version basically what he's saying is why aren't they doing anything one of the tweets responding to spaghetti rip I want to read this one they should always stick to console when it comes to FGC PC is great for the devs in terms of sales etc but it's too risky to run CPUs on it macros mechanical keyboards etc make it wild the response under that plenty of games run competitively online it's on the developers at this point, and I usually cut them slack. And that's the thing too, right? You can't really say, oh, this is why they shouldn't use PC because PC is one of the fastest growing platforms. So many people are switching to PC and it's a reason why. Of course you have access to so many different games, but also if you look at every other gaming tournament, it's usually on PC. 
Dota, Overwatch, League of Legends, Smite, even Capcom with Street Fighter. They're saying they want to make Street Fighter their main platform, their primary platform. We cannot take the blame off the developers because it's not like this problem just popped up overnight. I've seen this exact same thing happening in October, November, and they have literally done nothing since then. Literally nothing. I think this comment is also right at the same time because it does cause into question all of the online tournaments that we have had. Now, the reason why I never really cared about the online tournaments is because people could have been using these in tournaments. In those online tournaments, we had a lot of no-name players winning. Now, I'm not trying to discredit them, but I'm just saying, where were all these players in offline? We have CEO of the Tekken World Tour coming up, so we'll be able to see if all of these online gods can compete, can do the same thing. But I think a lot of those people were probably cheating. Of course you can't prove that, but with things like this, a hotkey that enables you to block everything, there's no way you can't imagine people using this. Like, these tournaments are giving out free money, and you have a hack that you can pay like a hundred bucks. That is what you call an investment. A hundred dollars to get a thousand. People are almost incentivized to cheat in these tournaments. Plus on top of that, you're crowned king. You get a bunch of new followers, you get a bunch of new, you know, maybe a sponsorship or something like, it's crazy. Bandai Namco, this is such a joke. Like Tekken 7, the fact that they haven't did anything, they haven't updated it, they haven't patched it. Like forget about characters, forget about maps, stages, customizations, game modes, forget about all that stuff. The game simply does not work. That is the basis. There's no reason to add more characters or add more stages or add more anything if the game does not work. It's absurd. I, I, I don't really understand why they aren't, why they're so hands off. One final thing I'll say, because I really don't want to rant about this, but to all the people who did buy this and get scammed because this one it could be fake but there is gameplay and there is footage of people hacking infinite backdash infinite low parry we have the evidence already but the people who tried to buy this one in particular i mean that's what you get you guys are so willing to just throw money and win and you're getting scammed for it in my opinion i wish there was more people scamming i wish there was more people creating fake hacks and scamming people because you guys deserve it you guys are such a burden on the Tekken community cheating and exploiting the game without any repercussions so at least the people who you guys have faith in the hackers the modders at least they can like you know give some sort of justice topics like this just makes me not even want to touch tekken like i already don't really play it that much but it's like i really don't understand how this game is selling the way that it's selling they haven't updated in so long that's gonna be it though Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.